So for the steering, what are we going to use for servo? We are actually going to use uh, servos. Uh, this particular model is SC1251 MG. This is actually not a particularly new servo on the product product lineup. However, I really like it for its uh, compact size and high torque and high speed um, capabilities. And I think this will make a really, really tidy install in, into our project. Okay, let's get started. Now we are going to install the rear wing mount as well as the wheel hex hubs and four bearings. Let's get to it! We are going to run our top force pretty much on road most of the time. We're going to install these uh, dish shaped wheels and tires. They are actually very good uh, for 10 scale buggies. And we actually stock these. And they come in a set. And they do have a very nice hole insert. You can see that from the camera. Okay, the body has been trimmed 
and we also have uh, washed it with uh, warm soapy water and we are in the process of masking off certain areas and head it off for painting and let's have a quick look at it and it's of course still has that protective film on it so we'll remove it once they have been painted it does take a little bit of time to um, to trim the legs and body and you need to be quite careful and we have used the combination of um, uh, legs and body scissors and as well as that we have also utilized some um, uh, hobby knife uh, where we have to trim certain areas like the right angle okay. and also the curvy areas we have trimmed them with um, legs and scissors uh, yeah. so cleaning off for paint this time we're going to run with a long pack lipo on LRP very nice um, long lipo pack however there's a slight issue that I have came across uh, just now while looking at the battery uh, installation and then um, let me grab the car and show you guys So here's our top board and to slide in the, the little pack. That, that's no problem, no issues there. The main the main issue is actually the battery retaining bracket uh, the factory on the factory location. If you put this um, battery bracket on, as you can see we have a problem straight away which is actually blanked off the positive and negative terminal of the LiPo and I, I, I had a quick uh, solution to tackle this for your reference and that's to actually drill out the battery retaining bracket to the location of the terminals so when it's fitted, it will be like so. And you see here, I've actually marked it out nicely before I actually drill them out. Um, so when it comes to fitting the terminals, we have to actually go through the battery thinning bracket and sandwich the battery bracket in like that but just make sure that you have nice good quality almost solid like uh, battery terminals um, if these are really skinty uh, or skinny they probably will snap if we set it up like this however this is pretty much a uh, good quality solid uh, terminal file LRP so uh, I had just a quick solution in mind like this and this will actually also give you one more benefit um, as you can see here first we can mount the battery bracket quick release pin without problems okay so all still in the factory spot and the benefit is actually when it comes to removing the positive and negative terminals of the lipo we can actually use this battery bracket that we have drilled holes for and just weld on the battery bracket itself and as you can see here we are actually removing both terminals at the same time together Handy, right? That's it. And 
then for the ESC speed controller, we are going for the brushless uh, speed controller. And this was the previous model, the Yokomo uh, brushless Bio Pro Series ESC. I'm correct, they are having the current model is the BL Pro 4. But this, although this is an old version, by no means this, this is a great, great ESC and more than capable of what we want to achieve with our project. And this baby here can actually handle up to 3.5 turn uh, sensor brushless motor very capable ESC nicely built and I also really like it for its compactness as you can see here comparing to the size of my thumb you get a rough idea of how big this is and it will make a very neat uh, installation as we are going to do later on and last but not least we are going to run the Senwa MTS radio and to match the receiver we are going for the RX482 I actually love this receiver a lot because that it has built-in antenna so no more of those uh, the wires hanging out of the bodies and, and things like that and this is very compact. I mean, again, comparing to the size of my thumb, uh, it's very, very tiny, very, very compact. But it will just give you that extra fine, I mean, extra tidy look to your build. And it works great. It works by the uh, telemetry system as well, so you need to actually program it into your radio. Let's go ahead and do more work.
Now all the wiring and soldering has been completed. I'm quite happy with the result. Looks quite promising.